All right, guys. So I don't. Even, I think this might be day four ish of working on the Viper to try to fix it. So we're over here at our buddy Aaron's house. If you guys saw the last episode, we were getting everything primed up. We did a bunch of body work here. The fenders got cracked uh, when the vehicle was actually in transport, not even driving it. It somehow bottomed out quite a bit and substantially in the trailer and ended up breaking a bunch of our fiberglass on the rear quarters. So in the last episode, we had this primered in, but we quickly realized that the shape of this arch was knocked down quite a bit. So you can see right here where it's down to the fiberglass. Um, once we did our patchwork, it's kind of hard when you see it have like multiple colors, but once we ended up putting primer on it, you could really see that this profile here wasn't uh, adequate or it wasn't the same as you know the way it should be in the rest of the fender. So what Aaron did was he ended up making a couple little molds and then he ended up taping this up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in fiberglass, actual fiberglass, so resin with the fiber hairs, and we're gonna put it in right here. So you can see we're down to the fiberglass right there. So we're gonna lay it in there. That's the plan, right? And then he's got, Aaron went ahead and made these little molds out of fiberglass. And he's even got them labeled. He's not messing around this time. I can't show you, I guess, on this fender, but they essentially fit into the profile of what we need. So we're going to use these as our little sanding blocks. So once we end up laying this in, we'll be able to sand this like so. So we'll be able to get the exact edge again. So it's going to be a lot of work and it's a lot harder to sand fiberglass than it is to sand like, you know, Bondo or any sort of filler. So it's going to be a lot more work to sand, but it's going to be strong. It's going to be good. He's confident in it. So we're gonna start to do it. So let's get to uh, fiberglassing and then we'll continue on. So we're gonna mix up our fiberglass resin. You can see here, before we were using the cloth, but we're gonna mix up some resin and then he's got these like fiber hairs in here and we're gonna use a brush and we're gonna brush it all in. So it'll be all reinforced. It's essentially fiberglass, the same way the fender's made out of. So we're gonna mix the two and then we'll lay it in. Ew. <laughs> putting in work. The goopla. Alright, so we got it all laid up in here right now. With all them hairs. Alright, so there she is. She's in there. We actually used a piece of sandpaper to kind of hold the rigidity. Originally we had these kind of tied over, but it was kind of bending uh, our line. So Aaron grabbed a piece of good old sandpaper. <laughs> threw it in here and now it's holding it up strong up to the edge so we'll let it cure and then we'll get to sanding okay so while we wait for the resin to dry we're gonna roast aaron's I truck over here so he's got this axle four inch. this is out of a 3500 you said yeah 3500 so yeah four inch four inch on this and, axle and note the diff cover watch now we're gonna go over to his fake ass 2500 over here <laughs> This thing looks badass, by the way, but I was just comparing it. I've never really spent, like, I like these trucks and look at them, but I didn't realize they were like, like, look at how rinky dink that is. That has like the same size CVs that are on my 1500. And look at the control arm. I swear my 1500 has bigger control arms. And I was telling them that the rear axle looks like a pencil axle. All right, here, I'm gonna get out of here and measure this. Oh. That is not four inch, I'll tell you right now from here. The three. Ooh, three and a half. Wow, so it is 1500 size. That's what I'm saying. So what I'm hearing is I need to put the rain. <laughs> <laughs> like I guarantee you the axle of my truck is pretty much the same size. It looks almost identical. Yeah, you, you, you wanna hear something funny though? Look I mean. at that thing. This thing's badass, but I, what is Chevy doing with their build over here? This is not 25 hundy status. I'll tell you something funny that I did that I found out. The piece that goes into the rear end, bolts in. Yeah. Uh, the U-joint's the same size for Chevy and Dodge. Yeah. So. You got Dodge parts on the Chevy? You're damn right. <laughs> uh, so you know how these are known for like throwing the drive shafts out of them? No, but it sounds, sounds about right for a Chevy. <laughs> because they just have, well, if, if you look here at this diff, they have the stupid thing that holds the U-joint on like that. Yeah. So the rear end has those too, usually. But you can look back there and see I have the flange from a Dodge. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Which is funny because that part stayed. Hmm. When it dropped the whole damn transfer case out of here. 
That's because it was the only Dodge part. Exactly. So I ordered a new one to put on the uh, new drive shaft I'm putting in. I still can't believe how underbuilt this truck is. That's what I mean. Like, this oh. is a 15 Hyundai with a big motor. All right, back on the project. So this is all cured up. So we're going to, of course, it kind of, you know, molded a little bit funny. So for the first good bit, we're just going to use the DA and just knock it down until we get the general shape. And then we're going to switch over to hand. So we're going to cut through a lot of this with our orbital sander. And then we'll, or what is it, dual action sander. Yeah. I'm saying orbital. <laughs> so we'll knock it down with the sander a bit. And then we'll get in there with the hand, uh, hand shaping. All right, so we're just using the block sand and then Aaron's mold and we're getting a lot closer, boys. So this is more the profile we want. Still got a ways to go. You can see here it's still built up, but we're just sanding her down and she's starting to take shape. Aaron's positive about this. He says it's brand new, better than new. He says he's gonna start selling these molds. Oh yeah, <laughs> gotta get a little handle for him. <laughs> Okay guys, a little update for you guys, but many hours later, well not many hours, we started probably like, I want to say 10, 30, 11 in the morning and it's like maybe 3-ish now, kind of off and on letting stuff dry, but this is looking way better. So you can pretty much see we built up, and like I mentioned in the last video and probably at the beginning of this video, like we were down like maybe like quarter of an inch through here. And now we've got this beautiful profile through here like that matches the original one. So you can see pretty much how much we've built it up through here with all the fiberglass and you know not a lot of body filler. So there's a couple little pinholes and just small little tiny things uh, we're going to clean up and then we'll be able to primer it. And then here's the other one. Same deal. Built that all up through there. We used our little mold thing, laid in the glass sanded it down and then used uh used Aaron's or Aaron was using his little uh mold he's calling them the viper molds now I don't know where he went with them but where's your little viper mold thing oh uh, I did there. there this is his signature piece right here so he was literally just laying these in here and just and it was making the perfect profile all through here so he's just gonna put a little bit of mud in there little tiny small stuff and then uh, we'll do a little bit of sanding and then she should be ready for primer again. Okay, check it out boys. We have a nice surface. Again, it's hard to tell what profile we have until we get it all primered in in one color, but it looks really, really good. Here's this one. Spent a ton of time, me and Aaron, going crazy on this. And then here's this one there. So you can see just how much we built up through there. Like, it was pretty substantial. So, I think yesterday we were just uh, over it and thought maybe it would be okay with some primer. <laughs> but yeah, that's all bonded in there nice and good. So we'll get some primer on it and then we should be able to kind of get a better idea of what she looks like. Okay, so got everything taped up, cleaned up. This man's got some primer. Spray. <laughs> He's making me spray it, so let's see what happens. How much, like, do you want me to go full trigger or half trigger? Oh, uh, you can do full trigger on that. The, okay. the way I have that set up, you could do the whole thing. Just try not to get too into the tape lines. Because the tape lines are the sand out. I don't like that. Yep, it's fine. We can get it. I'm paying attention to that tape line. Hell yeah. I guess I could probably go back here. What do you think for there? Where else do you want me to go? Um, do the top up there. Like higher up? Yeah. Like, like this little edge here. Yeah, we want to cover all that up. 
Because that's like the lines where when you're painting, the paint will have an issue with that weird transition. How much more? Do you want me to fill that? that? That's good for it. Yeah, that's good for that one. Awesome. I think it's good for now. Okay, it's primered. Aaron's confident, <laughs> but we'll find out in the morning once it's all dry. We're gonna continue. We gotta sand this out, and then we gotta sand the whole panels, sand all that. That way we can get ready for color. And he thinks we'll be good for paint tomorrow. So that's the plan. I'm taking it day by day. If you guys enjoy this little suspenseful mini series, give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below in the comments. And uh, yeah, we're getting a lot closer. So. We're in much better shape today than we were yesterday with yesterday's episode, so we're looking good, a lot more work, but she's almost dialed in. We kind of see a few things that you guys will have to wait till tomorrow's episode that we kind of want to dial in a little bit more. Like I said, once you make it one solid color, you know, being gray right now, you kind of see a little bit more, so we're seeing a couple things we want to tweak and uh, just dial in, but we'll share that with you guys tomorrow, and we'll see you guys on the next video.